So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little journey. And I, in this book, uh, Dark Side of the Light Chasers, if I remember correctly, you get on a bus and then you invite your shadow selves on. Then you ask them what they're there for and what help they offer you. Uh, because procrastination has a benefit. Um, being angry has a benefit. Being critical has a ben benefit. I mean, they all benefit us in some way. So you invite this this being on. Sometimes it, it'll come as um, a teenager in baggy clothes. Sometimes they'll come on as a little old lady, a little old man. Um, so whatever you're experiencing, it, it's aspects that will materialize and form themselves into a person that you can talk to. It doesn't have to look like you. Okay? So it can look like something totally different. It could look like... Um, um, Somebody just like wearing a suit of armor. So whatever you experience is what you're going to experience. So we're going to get on this transport. It's not going to be a bus this time. We're going to get on a transport. We're going to go modern. Um, and this transport is heading us to the main central terminal. Okay. Symbolically, this is heading us, taking us to the central hub of our awareness. On that journey, um, <clears throat> we're going to stop at several different spots places and we're going to stop well, I think we're only going to have time for two so we'll stop at two stops someone will get on and sit next to you and they have information to, to for you to use about your shadow self to help you understand what it's here for and what benefit it gives you so we're going to stop at two stops have two different people get on ask them what their blessing is and then when we get to this main central terminal we're going to let them off because we don't need them anymore, and then we're going to come back. Any questions on that process before we go? Okay, so deep breath in. And exhale. Another deep breath in. And exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Bringing your awareness into the center of your being from the center of your being, the core of your being, you have a, an awareness that you are a powerful human being. And that you're not perfect. That you don't have to be perfect. There's beauty in that imperfection. And we're stating our intent to find the beauty of what you have up to this point may have judged as, as an imperfection. So now bring your attentions to the bottoms of your feet, and there's energy portals there. And as you're mindful of them, they'll open, and anything that is no longer of use for you, any pain in your body, any worry or fear, any stress can just drain out the bottoms of your feet. And bring your energy now, your attention to the top of your head. There's an energy portal there. And with your awareness, that also will open like the eye of a camera. And this connects you into higher realms. And with that awareness, beautiful living light of love will flow into the top of your head. Let this living light of love touch your mind to bring you new insights, new thoughts, new awarenesses. Letting more and more love and light flow into your your face, your neck, your shoulders, down into your arms. We carry a lot of tension in our shoulders. You might want to roll your shoulders to release that. Where there's tension, this energy slows down, so we want that to move freely into your body. Bringing more and more love and light into your torso. Let this living light of love touch every organ, every system, every tissue, every cell even down into the cells, bringing healing energy and light into your being. Activating, healing, bringing you a sense of power in your own world. Bringing more and more love and light into your legs, to your feet, 
Let that light flow through you, shine through you. And let it flow into the earth, shine into the earth. You are, you are bringing love and light in a new measure into this physical realm. What a blessing that is. We're grateful for that. Now close the bottoms of your feet. And as more love and light flows in, shines into your being, it fills your physical form and the energy field that surrounds your body. And let's take a little journey. Allow yourself to find your way to a train station or a transport station of some sort. You're going to get on. Doors are open. You're going to walk in, sit down. Know that this journey has deep significance for you. It's important for you. And as the door closes, closes, the conveyance begins to move faster and faster and faster. And you become willing, you become ready to take a look at a shadow side of yourself. You're ready to integrate it in a new way, without judgment, without hostility, and to realize that it has value for you, awareness is for you. And the conveyance slows down, and the doors open, and someone steps in and sits down next to you. Doors close, the conveyance moves on its journey, and you look at this person and you say, hello, I realize you're a shadow of myself, you're some shadow part of myself. What benefit do you bring to me at this time? What blessing do you bring to me at this time? What help are you giving me at this time? And ask them how to integrate this into a gift that will give you usable energy and empowerment. And as you're listening for that answer, the conveyance begins to slow. You're at the next train station. The doors open and another being steps in. And he sits near, he, she, it, they sit nearby. And as the doors close and the conveyance takes off again, you acknowledge them as being part of your shadow self. And ask them, what is the gift they bring to you? What is the blessing they bring to you? How, can they, how are they helping you at this point in time? The conveyance takes off, and as you listen for that answer, Ask them also how you can transmute this energy into something positive to fuel your life with empowerment and joy. There may be more things that these two beings would want to communicate with you. But for our limited journey now, you've received an energy from them, whether you heard it in words or heard it in a feeling, or perhaps you'll know in the next few days what this all might mean for you. And each one has a symbolic object they would like to give you now. So receive this symbolic object from each of those beings, whether you understand what the symbolism might mean for you or not. Just receive that with gratitude. And the train slows as you're headed right into the main central terminal. Comes to a stop, doors open. 
And as these two beings begin to exit, you realize you have a gift for them. Perhaps it's a word or a thought or a feeling or some symbolic object. And you may give this gift at this time to each of them with deep gratitude and joy in your heart. And know that you can release this and find a new positive way to walk your spiritual path with purposefulness and joy. And as the doors close, the conveyance begins to move in the opposite direction. You find yourself feeling stronger than you have before, more empowered than you have before, even if you don't have all the understanding of what all this means for you. You know that you are different now. You're more aware now. You're more empowered now. And you're kinder to yourself now. And the train moves quickly back to the original station. You allow yourself to exit the train. And you find your way back into this room, back into this time and space, into this physical plane. You might want to take a deep breath in and exhale. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Welcome back. That was kind of a quick, fast journey. So, Mr. Phil, I'm going to let, let you kind of sit with that for a minute, and we'll do communion, and then I'll get back with questions and answers. How's that sound? Communion? Would you join, join us in prayer, please? Loving Spirit of Light, as we take this in, help us to take in life, all of it. Help us to realize that even those things that we may not like about ourselves have great value and many lessons to teach us. Help us to be more aware and walk with us in all things. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. blessing. If you're new, we have unleavened bread, if you like the tradition of that, uh, rice cakes if you're wheat intolerant, animal crackers if you want to honor a Native American pathway, whatever works for you, works for us. Thank you. And would you join us in prayer again, please? Loving Spirit of Light, Help us, as we drink this in, help us to drink in life. Help us to drink in the joy of living. Help us to feel repurposed and empowered. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's coming. Oh, okay. Basket. I'll let you get it. Luann, you want to do this? Hmm? One in the back. No, Luann. No? Okay. That's okay. So early, do you want to do it? <laughs> that was almost a volunteer, I think, so. It sounded close to me, so it wasn't.
whatever. Um, okay, I've been up here before. We have a lot of new faces here. Um, I've been a member of the church for a very, 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 very long time. Um, having this place is an absolute blessing. Being able to come here and be who we are, exactly who we are, is one of the biggest blessings in my life. I have learned how to be exactly who I am through the talks that Janice has given, the talks that Christopher has given, and as all things go, the lights need to stay on, the water needs to stay, stay running, different things need to be done for the church. If you can give a monetary donation, wonderful. If that doesn't quite fit your budget at this time, please just bless, bless the basket as it goes around. It all works. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, Ruling. That you get that done. We have quite a few gratitudes. Um, we didn't get to them last week, so they've kind of piled up on us. Um, the first one is for this church and all the beautiful people here. Amen to that. For barbecues. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> yes. Amen. <laughs> I am so grateful for the wonderful food and fellowship and the potlucks. And thank you so much. Boy, two out of three. Wow. I know it. We must have did a good job this last time, huh? I am grateful for life and choices. It's all about you. Trust in me. Trust in you. Trust in... I can't... Lou? I it, could... You know, L-I-E-U. Does anybody know how to pronounce that? I would think Lou, but I don't know. Lou. Lou. Okay, that's what I said. Um, Someone may need to translate that one for us. John Doe Joe is what they wrote on there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. It means something somewhere. For all the blessings in my family, home, business, amen. Mm -hmm. Family, home, and business is kind of what it's The, oh, the new baseboards look great. Thank oh. you, Roy and Carol. Yeah. We appreciate all you do for our Divine Church home. Amen to that. Have you seen? If you haven't seen them yet, go look in the holler. Just it's going to be done. doing more too, so stay tuned. And might need help, so that's yeah. good too. I am grateful for the supreme love I feel here. Oh, boy, we get lots of gratitudes that. for that. Thank you so much. Thanks, Val. I probably do need that. Does anybody have any quick questions about their... Yeah, okay. <laughs> First of all, did you meet anybody? Did it make it on the bus to get on the transport with you? Kind of a challenge. Yes. Um, so my first person to walk in was a man in a hat. Just it, Everything was shadow. Couldn't see anything. He had a nice heavy trench coat on. Sat down. And he gave me a red square cut garnet on a necklace and the word wisdom. And the next person to come in and sit down was, oh, she was ugly. <laughs> she was a haggard old woman with a weathered staff. And she had a poisoned apple with a bite taken out of it. And she gave me the word foolish. But it was a choice whether I took the apple or not. And then together they gave me a, it's a gold coin, but it just sat spinning in the air. Hmm. And then when they left, I gave them just an old brown book. Okay. So when you when you asked the shadow man what his gift for you, what what his purpose was, or what you're learning from him, uh, what did he say about that? That's all I got was the word wisdom. That's it. The wisdom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you think that represented for you, that shadow person? He was definitely the less scary of the two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would think. Um, I, I feel like he was... So let me ask... Okay. I, I feel like he was reminding me to have the wisdom to identify things that could be foolish or that could be like a trickery of some sort to identify that. Is there a part of you that hides? Does oh, heck yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm getting on that, that, that 
that part of you that hides out and, and isn't present in your own life. He's here to tell you that you do that, that there's some wisdom in doing that because not everyone can love you the way you need to be loved. Yeah. So to honor that, that when you feel like I need to be in the shadows here, he's, he's saying that there's wisdom in not being your real self all the time that others might hurt you with their criticism or um, whatever. Does that make sense? Yes. So there's wisdom in that. So honor that. Okay. That's this balance of, of the shadow has a purpose here for you. So what do you think the haggard old woman is trying to tell you? To be aware that there's things that I feel like it was a be wise enough to know the difference of being when, when you're being tricked or when you're being pulled into some BS and keep your head straight about it. Keep your head straight about it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when we're, when we're tricked, mm -hmm. then you can become that person. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you see that person emerge, there's trickery afoot. Mm -hmm. Step back. And she gave you... She had a poisoned apple with a bite taken out of it. And okay. it was being offered, but I had a choice whether I wanted to take it or not. And I did not take it. Okay, so she's giving you the power of choice. Okay. So before that ugly person emerges, you are being given a power of choice. Okay. How cool is that? And the coin spinning in the air, what do you think that means? Something about self-worth, I'm sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, allow yourself to see your self-worth. Okay. And even when those shadow things come up, that doesn't in any way make you less wonderful. It just means, oh crap, I got triggered again. Or, oh crud, I got tricked again. Yeah. I bit the poison and I didn't mean to, but there it is. So now I get to, I get to backtrack a little bit, maybe do some amends or apologies, whatever. But know that 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 point of choice is going to be coming faster and faster and faster for you. Okay. And she's going to become less and less in your life. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Is this like powerful or why? <laughs> it's awesome. The only um, other thing is the book that I gave back. Oh, the book. The book that you gave back. I don't know. <laughs> Did it look like a journal? No. It kind of looked like a, like an old chapter book. Like I'm, it was a thick book about... Okay, so it feels to me like, see if your ring true acknowledges mm -hmm. this for you, but it feels to me like you're giving them this book and saying, that's an old chapter, and I don't have to live that anymore. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. So I can choose to not be all out there, because I'm, you know, you're kind of a bright, you know, but people can crush that yeah. in the wrong circumstances. So you'll know when to step back, and you'll also know when to not bite the triggers. So that chapter is done. You don't have to have anything, anything to do with that anymore. Cool. Awesome. All right. Um, we're really low on time. I had something else I wanted to do. Maybe we should just do that next week. Can we do that next week, Mr. Phil? That's crazy. We could do that next week? Yeah. Okay. So we <laughs> just have to come back next week because I had something really special we're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, I'll share that with you next time. So if you have any other questions about your shadow thing, Ponder, ask for assistance uh, from spirit to have that revealed to you, or check with me later. Okay, how's that sound? All right, Mr. Phil, hast thou a...